Welcome back to Game Devs Play Game Show, where we play Game Star Game Design. <laughs> Energy. You could be like a um, what are those people like? People that like run auctions. Oh no, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot do that. Not anymore. Too anyway. slow. <laughs> cool. We're playing Banner Saga 2, the preview, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that little speed run that I just did going through this fight. What? Uh, I just want to point out something I just realized. Okay, look at this. Really good. Right, right. Reg. Reg. Okay, here's a long ship. Aw, oh, look at all these dead people. That's our people. And look at this. For, for, with his, all Raven. those people. The ravens just like, like, oh, we got this. We're fine. <laughs> Not even fighting. They're just like, oh, I'm going to get you. Uh, I'm going to get you. Yeah, but it's like, <clears throat> screw them. They just come out. They're totally fine. And our people are just dead. To be fair, we hit a rock. Yeah, well, we were dumb enough to hit a rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That said, though, I mean, the I battlefield is kind of beautiful despite the carnage. Oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Pow. So, yeah, we, we played through the uh, the fight a little bit, and um, needless to say, Nathan or Intangible had a, a heck of a time dealing with these skulkers. They're just in the way. Like... Literally, they all attacked all at once. Like, they made themselves visible and attacked Hacken, who had some armor loss at that point, deflected every single blow. Literally just didn't take. They missed every single. <laughs> they're so weak. They did nothing. Look, Hacken has no armor and is still fine. You know, but that said, I, and, I, and I was talking to, to Intangible, Intangible about this off camera, um, the Skulkers do one thing, though, that's very interesting, um, aside from turning invisible, right? And aside um, from not counting as an enemy. What is this? I got oh. an achievement with the poet. No, there's still Skulker on the field. Oh, whoa! He's still alive. The fight's over, but he's still alive. Weird. So the Skulkers don't really do anything. Like, I mean, they're not technically an enemy. They're just, like, there. Well, they phase him out of an existence. But, and they so. still don't attack Dredge, which tells me that maybe they're just trying to feed on us. Like, they're trying to hunt us. But since the Dredge are stone, they're like, well, you, you, I can't eat you. <laughs> I can work this way. They're frantic clansmen on his way to, on his way to you. We lost some... Oh, sorry, that's you. Go for it. We lost some good varl on those ships. Humans, too. But you saved more of those along the way. Maybe too many. You look at Hacken with disbelief. <laughs> Cock. <laughs> I'm not saying I would have done things different, but some of those ships were too weighted down. As far as we know, this group is all that's left of my kind. Each varl death is one step closer to being wiped out. It's a pretty fair way of looking at it. on his sleeve. For a moment, the Varl King looks more vulnerable than you've ever seen him before. Oh, buddy. I can squints into the distance. Their next attack is coming, and this time, they'll come in force. <clears throat> oh, what do they want? Then this is it. I've led everyone to, to a dead end. Any chance of fighting through them? I mean, what do they want? That's sort of the question that we asked for the entirety of the last game. His, and we're asking Hack, and his answer is going to be very obvious. He's going to be like, probably to kill us all. So I'm not even going to bother. I, if I was asking <laughs> Juno, maybe she would give me an answer. That's fair. But she would be like, the eagle flies into the night sky. I'd be like, Juno, you're really not helpful. <laughs> um, then this is it. I've led everyone to a dead end, showing doubt or any chance of fighting through them. I don't know, man. I'm kind of on then this is it because I'm still on the side that Rook is just resigned to his fate. This is it. All right, cool. The best way to die, right? Nowhere to run and nothing left to lose. Makes things simple. I figured Hacken would appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's simple. you. <laughs> yep, simple. Like Boris Guard. Fair point. <laughs> Juno and Aven approach. There may be a way out of this situation, and gamble to be sure, but we believe it's our only chance. Gods, it's bad when a Volca opinion is the only option. <laughs> uh, option is the only, yeah. Worse than that, I, I can't promise everyone will make it. No, shit. <laughs> Juno gives Avon a look. Just tell me your plan. Avon sighs. With Juno's help, I think we can get across the ch uh, chasm, but it won't be easy for me or the caravan. Take Juno. I need to help Avond and calm these people so that they are ready to march when he's ready. 
You need to keep this area clear of dredge at all costs. If they... The sound of a war horn cuts her off. That one right there. And everyone turns to look. The dredge assault begins. Jeez. Rook, Hacken, you know what to do. Uh, and he just like drops uh, the axe. Okay. What? I don't know. We got a proper warfare scenario. Looks like the force you've trained is roughly the size of the enemies. This could go either way, but victory here will protect most of your clansmen. Juno and Avon move the, to the cliff's edge. Hacken, surveying the battlefield, says some supply barrels could make a few barricades for defense. Otherwise, it'll be a straightforward assault. Oh. Say what to do. I like this. This is a lot more like involved than the or integrated it even really than the, the old even warfare gives system you the old interface and everything yeah but okay. it still feels like the yeah I, I i like it a lot actually let's sacrifice for some barrels see what ha or see what the barricades like yeah sure men and barrel begin moving bar uh, uh, barrels full of food and gear ahead of the fighters but they look your way for confirmation you realize these supplies may be ruined in the fight not for them or to will be ruined in the fight i will yeah straight up all right not for Honestly, I feel like we're going to be leaving a lot of supplies behind after matter. this anyway. People are going to die. That's the point of the yeah. game, too. Barrels are barely rolled into place before the fighting begins. Better supplies than the people, too. Yeah, even though less supplies lead to people to... But, you know, you foraging and stuff. Yeah, It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. <laughs> Avon's too busy to fight, so... We lost one. We could do Eric, which is a, a willpower machine, but honestly, we don't really need it. To I almost feel like we could benefit from more ranged fighters. You think so? Well, then Nid's kind of the way to go, unless or you want to be I'd, a trappy and... Yeah, I feel like Oddleaf might be a good one. But Either that's, way. that's me. I think, let's see, uh, she's just good for kind of like holding off. I end up using her ability a lot, but that means she usually doesn't do anything. Like, she'll like, it'll, she'll stop somebody True. in the track once. I mean, consider, okay, so this is warfare, which means we might be fighting multiple waves. So what Probably. might, what would be best for the longevity of this battle? Nid will probably never be attacked because she'll be too far away because mm. her ability makes it to where she can shoot farther away. Okay. Oddly, I always end up using her well and she works out for two of her abilities and then somehow I always screw up and get hit. <laughs> so I actually, I, I do vote Nid. Okay. Personally. Let's do it. All right, cool. And with Pal. the barricades, maybe that'll be even easier. What is this? This is level three item. Plus armor and armor rest. rest. Uh, we might want to give that to. We could. No. I think I can actually. What does take Alio have? I'm, um, what is? Uh, I think we actually give this to her. She can dodge strength attacks. Oh yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. I like. I mean, the it's only things. fifteen percent chance, but hey, man, we've already seen it work. If it at dodges least. once, it's it's already worth yeah, it. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Okay. Um. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Ready for battle. Let's do, do this. this. Yeah, we went from a lot of, like, narrative and not battles to a lot of battles. All right, cool. Barrels in place. Ooh, right on the cliffside, too. Hold them off. This will take time. Oh, Man. wow. They, they They're really... right. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, mentors are so cool. <laughs> they really did do a great job, though, at, like... Integrating the battlefield into the actual environment, like, just all around, I feel like everything in this game is a lot more integrated into the narrative. It really is. Oh, man. It's so cool. All right. Um, let's get... Oh, and I wonder if if the dredge destroy the barrels, that's when the supplies are actually totally destroyed. But if they don't break the barrel, then we get the supplies back. That would be pretty cool. It would only make sense, right? Hmm. I do not know. Quit that yawning. It's early, man. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. Nope. Didn't want to move you either. I'm having some issues here. <laughs> Jeez, man. Okay, cool. I think... On the plus side, it looks like our force that we're fighting is not too tough. War! War! That was interesting. Yeah, that's okay. different and new. Cool. Let's go... Well, let's see. We want to drag these mofos here. I'm going to go right behind this barrel and then use my stone wall. Uh, 15, it looks like it really only takes one hit to break the barrels, versus too. Versus 10... And armor. Did I just get my bonus for Stonewall against the barricade? Maybe. 
I mean, it makes sense. I guess it does. It's, I mean, it, it's a defensive spot. Huh. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, nice. You definitely did. That's, that's pretty cool. Oh, you didn't attack it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get right up and just straight up kill him. I, I think no. you should damage him. I, you think so? Uh, yeah, because, well, okay, when is he going to move? I think he's going to move next. He yes. is, but he will get to Gil. I use Stonewall level 2, so he's not going to be able to hurt him at all. Oh, it's, yeah, he probably like, will. Well, hurt him. Oh, yeah, he can't even reach Hacken, so maybe it's best to keep Hacken there. Let him attack Gil and uh, and then slap him, silly. Okay, we'll uh, hold back, see what happens. Get them to come to us. Not in... <laughs> Although it's still funny because he's like, uh. <laughs> I mean, you know, even if I didn't take any damage, I feel like taking that force of a hit would probably knock the wind out of you at the very least. Probably. So should we speed through this part a little bit and then catch up? Yeah, yeah, okay, we can speed through this. Okay, we'll do that. Ah, uh, what? What? Ooh. I think this <sighs> is like the Driftwood challenge where we just have to hold them off. Shit, son. Maybe I shouldn't be pressing forward then. Well, maybe we didn't just hold them off with the driftwood. We did just fight another wave with them too. So I think killing, yeah, maybe killing them faster is better. Yeah, trees. You lift them trees. Lifting trees. Concentrate, David. You're doing it. So why isn't she doing it? Can is this like? It could be like. Maybe he does. She doesn't have those powers. Yeah, yeah, it could be like, I don't know, something to do with different elements or like different um, types of spells that they each have access to. It could be that. Or he is her apprentice. Maybe she's teaching him right now. <laughs> and he's like, dude, you could help right now. And she's like, no. <laughs> this is the that way would, of a mender. That would be kind of fantastic, to be honest. <laughs> All right. That should work if we can clear the way the dredges uh, they go through those really quick yeah okay so, so now, we now just I think we have to finish the them off alright so continuing fast forwarding <laughs> okay we're back uh, alright so exhausting but that was cool yeah yeah so we I, well, we'll stop it, it we, I hope we stopped at key points but basically the bridge is complete now we're just clearing out the rest of the dredge we're down to the last dredge so we're going to kill him and then progress yeah ideally right there's i guess there's probably the chance that they'll be like hang around and kill a few more um in that case i vote no actually because yeah. this was a little exhausting of a of a combat yeah that said you did pretty good though i did what i could no get over here there we go good man attack him Oh, okay. that way Ivor can just, like, walk up and smash him. Oh, yup. Yeah, good call. <laughs> or hacking. Oh. If I attack Gil for three or more damage, <laughs> it'll push him through him. <laughs> you know, it, it's always interesting to me. You can actually use Ivor's ability to do that. To yeah, slam really? people, like, slam your own guys. They'll take one armor damage, oh. but you can push them down the battlefield. See, that makes sense. I was found it strange in, in tactical games when you could just straight up attack your your allies. Yeah, that's actually one thing one way you could just totally break Final Fantasy tactics in half. Oh, that's right, because you could just use that to uh what Gain was it? experience. Being, yeah. Was it job class or job levels or was it just like general experience? Um it both. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Ooh. You did Aww. lose a decent bit. Or time leadership. 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 Your foes defended their... Okay. So wait, you got 21 renown for wartime leadership. Wow. Man. Wow, the renown is crazy. It was such a scarce resource in the last game. Yeah. I feel like... I mean, Not you have a lot more, more guys now. A lot more but... leveling to do and stuff like that. Juno walks onto the floating land, cradling a kid goat in one arm. She looks strained, but beckons to the families to the hood to follow. You shout for everyone to start moving, but the fighters and clansmen-like remain motionless. Large chunks of earth bobbing in midair <laughs> like ships at sea has everyone unsettled. Okay, it didn't look like she was doing anything. It looked like it was all unavened. 
And she was I just still, sitting I there still like, think it is. I think she's just standing there holding a goat, being like, come on, everyone. <laughs> but she looks exhausted. Maybe it's because she's holding a goat. She's oh, like, she this looks goat's trained. Re- yeah, maybe this goat's really heavy. She's like, this goat is... <laughs> like, Avon's like, please move across. She's like, yeah, this goat. <laughs> Finally, Ivor takes the reins of the yaks loaded with the supply cart and walks onto the first floating stone. Of course, it was him first. It supports the load without issue. We, we go this way or the dr- drudge kill us all. His words are punctuated with by slinger stones thudding into the ground only feet away. It'd be hilarious. It'd be like, punctuated by a stone hitting him. Like, ah. <laughs> Why? Men pick up children and start running. The caravan and an, the caravan animals squawk and bleat into the frenzy. Varl push through the crowd while others fight to follow in their wake. The frightened mob tramples a few and knocks a couple more Ooh, from nice. the ledge before everyone is strangely pacified. Even you feel a sense of calm settle your nerves. Why? Voodoo magic? You know, to be fair, that is really unsettling. I I don't blame their hesitation. Especially because it's being made up as they go along, right? rarely. The wounded and elderly stru- uh, struggle to make it onto the floating rocks while fear of the bridge paralyzes the legs of the others. The dredge give chase, crossing onto the bridge without hesitation. Oh yeah, we know it's going to happen. Dredge in the dress, a- asks the barrel to carry the struggling shout to Avon to drop the back of the bridge. Yeah. That's, that's what you do. Makes logical sense. It's not easy to mouth the words, but there are just too many dredge. While Avon seems unresponsive, Juno nods to you. You watch as the floating stones near the... Oh, we just lost some people. You watch the, the floating stones uh, nearest the land tremble and drop back into the chasm, taking all standing there with them. The uh, sight is terrifying, but you turn and urge the others to keep moving so forward. Ex- so the sacrifice of, of your clansmen that were on that... <laughs> that piece of well, they're probably gonna get caught by Dredge anyway. We it's... made the right decision. Here. I I agree. Keep going. Yeah. Oh. You my know, freaking it's this. Compare this to the beginning of Banner Saga One. You didn't see this. Nothing like this was happening. No. I never thought I'd live <laughs> to see something like this. I love you, Ubin. We haven't heard from Ubin in a while. But yeah, I I agree. It it's kind of crazy. Just the sheer level of like. Intensity, like magic, like grandiose uh, landscapes and awe, like all of this stuff is so much larger than the first game really gave it's us. Even less believable than the serpent, because the serpent was like you saw the serpent, and you're like, this is crazy, nothing like this existed. But at the end of the day, that serpent is a large animal. Yeah, yeah. This, there is no explaining, right? Magnets, maybe. It's, it's just m- magic, like crazy. Avon is growing visibly weaker. Meanwhile, many in the caravan are stunned by witnessing family members fall to their death. The effect <laughs> is spreading. Everyone look forward, move, rip rip a weeping man away from the falling edge. Ask Avon how you can help him. Run to the back and push people forward. Could Rook die here? <laughs> Which one of these two? Maybe... Three? I don't know, man. This one's up to you. I, I, I really. Um. I like. I kind of want to do four, but I feel like three is probably going to be the most helpful. It could be or it could be useless because we just read that Avon couldn't talk mm. back, and last time we were asking oh, people for true. advice, they just ripped Con- each other apart. Context clues. Yeah, I, I agree. Let's go with the context clues and say run to the back and push people forward. Mm-hmm. Your footing is precari- precarious as you reach the collapsing ridge, uh, re- yeah, rear of the bridge. You start pushing men, women, and children ahead. Others follow your lead, but it's Clip, the varl you picked up on the shoreline, who shoves a dozen teetering yeah! people forward at the cost of his own life. Oh, no! Clip. no. We're all improved. <laughs> Minus the guy died, yeah! Oh, but he could have been a character. What if he's the eagle of this game? He could have been. Yeah, you don't get him until he survives until everything. Su- oh. oh, man. That actually would have been kind of fun, though. Now I'm going to have to play and make sure Cliff doesn't <laughs> die. I know, right? All right. Oh, this is amazing. The stones behind the caravan are falling faster than the rising ones in front. The rear clansmen are pushing forward in a panic. Bulwark shouts, knock some of these people over the edge before we all go down. People gasp and flee from him. 
We are carrying too much, Ivor says. We got to get rid of something before the mender drops us all into the depths. You look around and only see people, food, and a massive cart the ravens are hauling. Only two of these are an option. Dump the food, our bulwark, throw the cart over the edge. Ooh. What is he carrying in that cart? I don't know. I feel like he's not going to do it, though. I feel like we'd be wasting our time, to be totally honest. Food, then. Yeah. The ones closer to the supply look at you, bewildered. We won't need food if we don't make it across. That's a constant line. Like, whiff, we won't need food if we're all dead. Slowly, a couple of carts are unhitched and shoved over the edge. Avon's relief is almost instant, and the bridge extends, giving everyone more room and time there to There you move. go. I feel like if we had to argue with, with uh, I can't remember his name. Bulverk? Bul Bulverk? Yeah. Um, it would have been a lost cause. Yeah. Every time we tell him to do something or ask him to collaborate, what is it? What is it? Or Arms dollar. dollar? Just a bit further. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, this is either the or close to uh, the Horseborn lands. Because I went back through the map and in, in Banner, Banner Saga 1, there are a few locations that do talk about the Horseborn, so they, you know, it was there all along. Even scream chills you as its echo the cliff uh, mere hundreds of uh, hundreds of yards away. Again, the bridge shakes but stays together. When Juno looks at you, her lips are trembling. This is killing him, she says, oh, and wow. I won't let that happen. Her tone is dark and cold. Um, what's the alternative? We lose Juno. We dump the rest of the supplies. I guess, just yeah. All of it. I mean, at least we're, we're coming be... up on the town, yeah. right? We dump the supplies. Let's just do it. We dump supplies. Thank you. Or we'll place them in. Yep, arms dollar. She says Juno. Uh, Juno says before returning to Avon's side, the supplies are dumped in the caravan goes <laughs> forward. At this point, we probably don't really have any anyway. I mean, that was six, right? It's like, ah, uh, whatever. God, yeah, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Ooh. Oh my. Yeah, no joke. Well, okay, this episode went very long, um, but, but that's it fine. was it's... very tough to uh, not finish Couldn't there. <laughs> Couldn't stop there, but can just about stop here. I say if we see a horse born, we just end the episode. <laughs> Keep people hanging. <laughs> yeah, screw you guys. Oh. Watch, Watch your step. step. It's hard to believe we made it across that chasm. Now we find what's left of Ormstaller. Oh. It was a great trade town at the fork of the Ormsa River. How many lives must have been lost here? No, I know what this is. Whatever caused the chasm completely destroyed this place. This is the triangle trade town between there was Boer's Guard, this town and then like the other great trade city and I think this is the in-between mm, one. I got gotcha. massive barrel to the youngest human child. Everyone is sapped from crossing the chasm. Tents are loosely strung up and gear is thrown onto the ground as everyone falls asleep. You manage to post a few guards on uh, habit before sinking down to the crate wrapping your cloak around you and closing your eyes. Your chest aches as if uh, from a uh, wasping feeling every around from the cause of it you look down between your leathery gray fingers running over a red stone breastplate gasping your eyes open to find your cloak still wrapped around you no stone armor underneath the caravan is still asleep stone armor like a dredge yeah the caravan is still asleep snoring more prevalent than usual you're able to drift off for a bit uh for, for some rest before facing the tasks of the new day Ooh, that's pretty wild Okay, well, this is definitely the best place to end it for now. No joke. Some ruins. We can rest with no supplies. <laughs> Great. We can resupply here. <laughs> oh. Okay, so question of the day. This this was definitely a pretty crazy episode. I feel like there's a lot we could talk about. There really is. Um, <clears throat> we're probably, I mean, going to stop here at least for a little bit unless you guys vote to keep it on. So I guess this should be a big question. I mean, we could make it about magic and just kind of how the whole gravity of this world is really shifted from Banner Saga 1 to 2. Um, so I guess maybe it could be as like, as deep as how much further 
can this go in terms of like writing and what do you think that they're building up for like a power creep almost yeah 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 i i guess that that is a pretty good question uh in in regards to how do you feel or what do you think about potential of, of power and growth and where these characters can go and how strong and and I, I mean powerful. I, I use that term not like physically, but like what you are capable of accomplishing. Mm-hmm. Man, it just makes <clears throat> Rook seem nothing. I know, it's crazy. Uh, cool. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Be sure to vote if you want to see more Banner Saga 2, because yep. we will happily play more. Absolutely. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Adios, guys.